All right, so this is a weird video to make. I mean, just based on the title, you guys can probably already see that, but I feel like it's definitely necessary. Now, I started a new job recently, right? If you guys have been watching my recent videos, uh, you probably know that. But in that job, I pretty much just do the same thing for eight hours, and it's the same like monotonous routine. I kind of just sit at a station, do the same thing all day, and I'm able to listen to music. But I found that listening to music for that long kind of just got annoying. It didn't really help out, like it didn't really make my shift go by that much faster. So I decided to start listening to podcasts. And I have this friend, right? His name's Chris. He's a big anime fan. Okay, he got me into anime a little bit, right? He, he showed me a bunch of shows. And since he's into anime, started watching anime content creators, anime YouTubers, stuff like that. And he stumbled upon the podcast called Trash Taste, okay? And that's the only podcast that I've really ever seen clips of leading up to me wanting to listen to a podcast. So when I stopped listening to music at work, I figured, why not? I'll throw on a Trash Taste podcast episode. I'll start from the beginning and I'll start listening to all their podcasts at work. And that's helped a lot, right? Their podcast is great. I enjoy it a lot. Um, now, they're like anime content creators, but they don't really talk about anime all that much in their podcast. I feel like they mainly just talk about their lives and just about like past stories and stuff like that. They're all funny guys. I just find it really cool hearing about like their daily lives, being YouTubers, what they have to deal with and all that stuff. And uh, it's also really interesting to me that even though they are absolutely massive channels compared to mine, we still do kind of experience some similar problems. And the two problems that they talk about pretty often are kind of the ones I wanted to bring up today. And that is burnout, and that is kind of feeling like you're stuck making the same kind of content, right? So the whole thing that sparked this crisis of mine, right? It's not even that big of a crisis. I thought that was just a funny title. Um, but this whole thing stemmed from an episode, I forgot which one it was, but one of the guys on the podcast, his name is Connor or Sea Dog VA, right? The VA stands for voice actor, okay? So he used to do a lot of voice impressions and stuff like that on YouTube. I think that's where he started. It seems like he started doing voice impressions of this character from Black Butler, right? Which is an anime. And it seems like that's where he started to grow and gain his following. So I, he felt for a while that like he kind of had to do that sort of content. And then he eventually broke off. He started doing new content. His views took a huge hit because that's usually what happens. Um, but then he said that now when he makes content it's pretty much just him being himself obviously maybe a little bit inflated just for the video and it's just that for a couple hours he makes a video out of it and bada boom he got some content and that was like the comment that really made me start thinking because then i started thinking about my own content my madden content right i started questioning whether or not this is me <laughs> okay that's kind of where like the existential crisis comes into play it's a bit hyperbole because it's not that serious. I want to be myself more in my videos, right? I don't think I can do that playing Madden because Matt is not me. I don't like Madden, like genuinely. Whenever I'm not recording Madden, I just, I don't think about it. I never play it. And I think for a while, probably for like a couple years at this point, I feel like all of my videos have been like the exact same. Maybe aside from a couple, but they've all been very, very similar. It's just, I'm playing a new team this week. I'm playing with a new team, doing a separate team rebuild or something like that. But they've all been like the same, like formulaic videos. And I feel like there's no personality in any of those. And I hate that. Like, I kind of didn't like my content for a while. It's just funny that a podcast <laughs> that was supposed to be focused on anime got me to think about my Madden content. But I do think it's time for me to, I don't want to say completely step away from Madden. Cause I don't want to say that and then just come back eventually because it may be, maybe I will uh, like a Madden down the line and want to actually make content on it again. But I think for the time being, I'm, I'm really not going to be uploading much Madden and I'm sorry. Like I genuinely feel bad, like saying that even really thinking it, I felt bad for a while uh, because I know, I think like almost all of you guys who watch my content are here because of Madden. Maybe there's a handful of you who just enjoy watching me do whatever I do, but I think the vast majority are here to watch me play Madden, to watch me build teams, do all that kind of stuff. And it's just not something I feel like I like doing anymore, which kind of sucks to say. And also a separate thing, they bring up the point in the podcast a bunch about like, when you're a content creator, kind of got to ask yourself the question, like, why would somebody watch me? It's a valid question, right? If you're thinking about making YouTube content, you got to like make yourself unique enough to get some kind of attention. And I don't personally feel like I'm that much different from other franchise Madden creators, right? I mean, it's kind of hard to be 
uh, because you're, you're doing the same thing. Madden franchise, there's only so much you could really do uh, in a video to make yourself different. It's basically personality driven at that point. And I just feel like my personality on YouTube for a while has been very focused just like on what's happening in the game. I feel like pretty much all of my commentary has just been like, oh, hey, like I completed a pass or like I ran for a touchdown, something like that. Like, I don't know. I just don't really feel like Madden is where I want to be at the moment. I really don't even know if this is going to be like a coherent video. I'll, I'll try to I'll try to make it that way as best as I can. I'm kind of just talking out of my ass. Like, I'm just I'm just saying random stuff that's on my mind and uh, not uploading for a while is kind of like intensified these ideas that I probably shouldn't be doing Madden. But like I said before, I don't want this to be a farewell from Madden, okay? Because maybe eventually I'll come back and want to make a franchise again. Uh, maybe the next Madden will be cool. I'll probably still get it just to see. But I think for now, I'm gonna take a break from the Madden content. Been doing it for a while hasn't really felt too fulfilling in a long time honestly i mean my last madden video i liked that one a lot uh collabing with those guys doing that whole rebuild of the nfc east i thought that was a really cool video honestly and i've had some interesting ideas for videos that i just don't really have the motivation to go through with them that's kind of the burnout that i was talking about earlier like when you're doing the same kind of content for a long time i feel like even if you're finding success with it burnout's still an incredibly common thing because uh, especially with, with the Trash Taste podcast, those guys are huge YouTubers, right? And they've all experienced burnout in one way or another. And they were getting views, right? They were they were doing well. They were growing, and still just making the making similar content over and over again. It really just takes a toll on you mentally, I think. So this was a weird rant. Um, I expect a lot of you guys probably to to not really follow me anymore, which is completely fair if you're just following me for the for the Madden side of YouTube then I completely understand. I mean, I might be back later, so I mean, you, could, you can always just not unsub. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but also, I'm still gonna be making videos, I think, every so often about other games that I'm into. Uh, like, the new Minecraft update just came out, and I'm working on a video for that. Yeah, so that'll probably be the next video after this one. I'll try to get it up as soon as I can, if I can at least finish it by today. That would be nice. But I think for now, that's kind of where I, where I am. I'll be playing Minecraft. I've been enjoying the update. I have a world with some friends that I've been playing on. It's been awesome. It's a cool update. Really like it. So I, I think I can see myself making some Minecraft content in the near future. Maybe some other games that I decide to play. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure. Like, I definitely still want to make content. Like, I, I don't want to stop. Like, I don't want to retire from YouTube, right? Like, I want to still make content in some capacity. And uh, I think that's always going to be, like, video game content for me. I don't really see myself making anything else. I don't really see myself sitting in front of a camera talking about my opinions on things. Like, I'm not that kind of content creator, I don't think. I'm not going to, like, react to things. I'm not, like, a commentary kind of dude. So I think the best content that I can make is me just playing a game and talk about what's going on in the game and document my progress or whatever. So I think Minecraft is probably the best plan of action for me currently. Honestly, until I find another game that I really want to make content on or until uh, my Madden urge comes back. So, yeah, thank you for watching. I am sorry, though, if uh, you really enjoyed my Madden content. I, I do apologize. Like, I, I do really feel badly about this, but I think this is what is best for me at the moment to feel like I'm making content that I actually enjoy. That's a lot of, I feel like, doing YouTube. If you're making content that you don't enjoy, I just feel like it's going to be so much easier to lose motivation, and I feel like it's going to be a lot harder to really stay on track and keep an upload schedule and stuff like that. So I'm going to take my channel in a different direction. This has been a long rambly video. I'm going to cut this down as best as I can. Um, but also watch the Trash Taste podcast if you are even remotely interested in anime. It's a great podcast. They're hilarious. Even if you're not interested in any kind of shows, um, I do think they still provide a very interesting experience and a very entertaining experience when they just talk about their daily lives or just talk about stories. And that is a loud car. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but <laughs> whenever they just talk about anything, I think it's I think it's entertaining. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys as soon as possible. See ya.